Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 25 minus 2 to the power of 24. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 2 to the power of 25 as 2 to the power of 24 plus 1. So I have this minus 2 to the power of 24. And the reason I did this is because we want both of these to be the same. We want to have two to the two two to the power of twenty fours. So the best way of changing two to the power of twenty five as two to the power of twenty four times something is to rewrite this as two to the power of twenty four plus one. So now I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So now 2 to the power of 24 plus 1 turns into 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1. And I still have this minus 2 to the power of 24. Now from here, what I'm going to do is factor out 2 to the power of 24. Because notice how both of these terms have 2 to the power of 24 in them. So, I get 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 24 is just 2 to the power of 1. And negative 2 to the power of 24 divided by 2 to the power of 24 is just negative 1. So I get 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 24 times 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 24 times 1. And this is just anything times 1 is obviously just equal to itself. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 24. Now, from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 12 times 2. So, the reason I did this is because I can now use the property a to the power of n times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And 2 to the power of 12, well, 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. 2 to the power of 2 is double of 2 to the power of 1, so 4. And 2 to the power of 3 is double of 2 to the power of 2, which is 8. So this pattern goes on. And I keep on doubling this until I reach 2 to the power of 12, which is equal to 4,096. So this is my value for 2 to the power of 12. So now I get 4,096 squared. Now, what most people would do, well, first of all, 4,096 squared is the same thing as 4,096 times 4,096. And from here, what most people would do is they would just multiply this like this. So they do 4,096 times 4,096 and use the conventional method to multiplying it. However, this method takes way too long and it's really easy to make an error using this method. So instead, to more easily solve this, I'm going to rewrite this as 4,000 plus 96 times 4,000 plus 96. And now I can use a distributive property. So I get 4,000 squared. Plus 
plus 4,000 times 96 plus 4,096, 4,000 times 96 plus 96 squared. Now, from here, four thousand squared. Well, this is simple because all we have to do is four squared, which is sixteen, and then a thousand squared, which is a million. So a million has six zeros. So all we have to do is add six zeros to the end of this. So I get sixty million. It's four thousand squared plus four thousand times ninety-six. Well. 4, 4 times 96 is 384, so then all we have to do is add three zeros to that. So I get 384,000, and then this should be 4,000. So plus, again, 4,000 times 96, which is 384,000, plus 96 squared, which is 9,216. So now all we have to do is add all of these up, which is fairly simple. So I get 16 million plus, let's first start by adding up 384,000 plus 384,000. So that's going to be 768,000 plus 9,216. And now this is equal to 16 million plus 768,000 plus 9,216, which is 7,000, or sorry, 777,216. And now for my final step, I just have to add this to 16 million. So we don't have to worry about the millions place, so I just get 16,777,216. So this is my answer to this problem. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like because I have many more videos like this on my channel in my channel, which you guys can try to solve. And if you're up for challenges, I have a bunch of those as well. So please make sure to subscribe and thank you. Bye. All right. So in this video, I'm going to solve the problem two to the power of 30 minus one. So to solve this, I'm going to rewrite this as two to the power of 15 times two minus one. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 15 times 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 15 to the power of 2. And negative 1 is the same thing as negative 1 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 15, and b is 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 15 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 15 minus 1. Now, 2 to the power of 15, well, what's the value of that? Well, 2 to the power of 10, this is 1,024. So 2 to the power of 11 is double of 2 to the power of 10, which is double of 1,024 which is 2048. So now 2 to the power of 12 is double of 2048, which is 4096. 2 to the power of 13 is double of 4096, which is 8192. 2 to the power of 14 is double of that, which is 16384. And finally, 2 to the power of 15. This is double of this, which is 32768. So, I have 32,768 plus 1 times 32,768 minus 1. And now this is equal to 32,769 times 32,767.
Now, a simple way to solve this, instead of having to actually multiply them the regular way, is to write this as 32,000 plus 769 times 32,000 plus 767. Now I'm going to distribute. So I get 32,000 times 32,000, which is equal to 1024000000. This is 1 billion, 24 million. And now I have this plus 32,000 times 767. plus 769 and finally I have at the end 767 times 769 which is equal to 589,823 so let me add all of this up You can, you can actually do this on paper if you want, but just to make this easier, I'm gonna use a calculator to add all this up. So if I add all of this up, I get 1,073,741,000 823. So this is my solution.